guys, happy Friday. I hope you all are doing well and thank you for joining me today. In today's video, I will be doing a collaboration with my dear friend Jody over at Jody at Southern Seasons. I will be linking her below. She is amazing. She and I go back to our blogging days and I always used to go to her blog channel for inspiration. She creates the most brilliant masterpieces that I would deem magazine worthy. She just does amazing vignettes that are just, they give you the wow factor. So once you're done watching my video, head on over to Jody's. I'll have her link below. Show her some love, give her some thumbs up. She's doing great with her channel, but let's tick the subscriber base up even more. And trust me when I say you will be inspired. I know a lot of my subscribers are already subscribed to her, but for those of you who may be sort of new to my channel, you may not know about Jody, or you may, I don't know, but head over there, you won't be disappointed. Now in today's video, we are going to be styling our mantles for fall. Now in last week's video, this is kind of humorous, I mentioned that I loved my mantle so much that I, I was thinking of not changing it. Now I've, I've draped some, I've been playing with ideas. This is how my mantle looks right now. I love the simplicity of it which is so not like me because normally I go all out on my mantle. I tend to go overboard. Y'all know that. I'm gonna ask you, should I keep it simple or should I go all out? Let's style. What? I heard you, you guys said go all out. And that's what I think we shall do. There's no way to find out until I get started. So let's do it. So currently, this is my mantle as we speak. And like I said, I wasn't planning to change it up, but in good old fall fashion, I must. I must try something different. Uh, the only thing I added was this beautiful fall wreath from Kirkland's, which will sadly be coming down because I think I have other plans. All right, I'm gonna get everything taken down and we will start afresh. Now that everything's removed, it's a blank canvas. I do think I'd like to keep the frame. Why? Because it draws your eyes up. And that's a good thing because we have two story ceilings and it sort of fills in the space. All right, I've been going back and forth toying with what to do. Sometimes decorating doesn't come easy to me. Sometimes it's like, whoa, I got a plan and I make it happen. Other times I have to pace back and forth a little bit until it just comes to me. friends I put a mirror up there you can see it right there um, it's not placed perfectly because I have a lantern I need to plug in behind the mirror once I get that plugged in then things will come to so, life so I have this lantern that I got from home goods and it just so happens it has a light and you plug it in and Rather than using a regular bulb, I'm gonna go in with a vintage bulb to give it that autumn-y, amber look. I like it already. Looks better. All right, let's get it plugged in. This is what we have so far. We've got the big frame to draw your eyes up because we can afford to do so with these large uh, ceilings. And then we've got the mirror within the confinements of the frame. And we have this cute vintage looking lantern. Now, what to do? 
So you guys, last night while we were having dinner as a family, my kids told me they miss me going all out for fall. I'm like, are you guys feeling okay? I mean, really, I've scaled it back a little bit, but it's still a lot. They said, no, we miss you going all out. So with that said, I'm gonna do something funky and fun for fall. I'm gonna elevate my lantern on this, this wood pedestal. It's just driving me nuts. It needs to be lifted. Okay guys, I have gathered a few things. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. And that's okay, that's okay. I don't know about you guys, but when I watch people decorate, I love to see their process and I like to see how things evolve. So I hope you guys do too. So my idea is to add my hello sign. So it's a layered look. It's the frame, the mirror, and then I'm putting a hello fall sign there, I think. And here's the hello fall sign. I might put it there or off center. Let's see. I kind of think I like it off center. This may change. You guys are going to think I'm off my rocker. I went down to my storage room and I saw this rustic wood ladder that I found on Amazon that I haven't used in a while. And I thought, oh, could I, should I, would I use this on top of my mantle? My kids said, bring back the fun, more is better look which shocked me, and so I shall, so I shall. Yes, if you've been following me, you may remember this. This was a ladder I had hung above my dining room table. Yes, I do crazy things. I had this hanging by chains over my dining room table. Not in one room, two. And I love that look, I, I've i loved it for years. And so I already had the little cup hooks on it, which was the perfect place to just attach my garland. And I thought it was meant to be. Okay, so I know this is gonna be hard to see, but I kind of want this garland to snake down the ladder. It's not a long one, so. Um, I just, can you guys see? I just wanna attach it right here and I don't have a cup hook there. So I just have a simple tack and I'm just gonna, you just screw it right into the wood like this. Can you guys see? And then I'll have a place to anchor this. Boom. So this is how it looks. That's all there is to it. Do I dare take it a step further with these cute little orange lights? No, they're not just for Halloween. They can be for fall too. It does have the orange. I don't know if you guys can see. See? It's so pretty for fall. Do I dare kind of drape it down the ladder and then put it up top? Let's try it. Now, I realize this may be over the top for some. I totally get it, but because my kids requested it, I'm gonna do it. By golly, I'm gonna do it and bring some fun fall to the family room. Big, bold, and fun for fall.
Okay, for me personally, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's different, it's fun, it's unique. And boy, oh boy, is that gonna look cute during the evening hours. And I thought to myself, since I have those cute fall leaves, you know, down the ladder, I thought I could do something pretty kind of coming off this side to sort of tie it all together. So I purchased the, this bag of fall leaves on Amazon. I love these. I've been putting them all over my house. I'm gonna fluff it out and drape one on this side. I've shared these before. When you get them, you just kind of fluff them out. It takes but just a few seconds and you are done. And it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love these colors because I love the bright colors and these are bright in a muted kind of way. I mean, they're really pretty. So I think if I can make it look kind of drapey on this side, it'll add that pop of fall color right where I need it. And it'll add a textural element that I'm looking for. A win-win. Okay, see, done. Now, I just had a thought. So this is, it, it is more sparse, but it, it does do the trick. But I do have this one. It's really, really pretty and really, really long. So I could either double this and make it really thick and then intertwine this with it for a wow factor or, I don't know. I don't know, I'm thinking. Let's see what I do. Okay, you guys, I'm up on my ladder and I've been messing with this uh, garland and I have to tell you, it is phenomenal. I got this at Home Goods the other day. It was $24.99, very bendable, very pliable. Um, that's what I love about it. Some garlands you get, you, you have a heck of a time bending it into place. Um, but I absolutely love, I am loving this look. It's so fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna add in a pop of color. I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Kind of reminds me of corn husks. Let's see if we can elevate this look. I love it. I love it. And I think I ran out. I just had this much to do and I really don't want to clip this short. So I'm just going to make it a little fuller. And uh, let's see how that looks. You guys, I'm having too much fun with this mantle. Um, I've decided to go in with this black vase with some pampas grass. If you do something similar, be forewarned, this is messy. But it definitely gives it a fall look and adds a textural element. I'm gonna add one right here. of the pampas grass. It just says fall to me. Another reason I like the black because it ties, it pulls the black and the hello fall sign. I don't know, to me it just pulls it all together. Plus there's black around the frame. So it looks so cute in person. I wish you guys could see it. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. The wheels, once I get the wheels going, I feel like a little hamster on the wheel and I just keep going and going and going. And I went in my room and I found this. And I thought, oh my goodness, would that tie it all together? If I could squeeze it in. Should I? Would I? Could I? Let's see. I did it. I squeezed it in. Okay, guys, see this lantern right there? I had this big, large candle on the inside of it, and I love it. It was a soft glimmer at night, but I've decided I want a brighter glow. And that cage light has, it has one of those amber Edison lights on the inside. You can see it's very fallish in the glow color. And I thought to myself, 
hey, I've got a lantern there. Let's put some glow diagonal to it. So I'm gonna see if I can squeeze my cage light in the lantern. So it mimics a candle, but it gives me the brighter look of a lamp. Make sense? Oh my gosh. It's a runaway tripod. Dear Lord. So I put this as far back as I could, and now I think I can lock it. Boom. It looks, it looks like a candle, but it's a lamp. I'm gonna put my diffuser up on this little marble and wood pedestal, and I'm gonna try out my new scent. This is the hot apple pie that I shared with you last week. I, I've been so busy, I have yet to try it. I've smelled it and it smells so good, but um, I'm gonna take my wood and marble pedestal and I'm gonna set it here. I'm gonna put my diffuser on top. Pour in my water. And I've got my hot apple pie. Put this on. and start it up. So what I did was I moved this lantern and the lamp over and then I, I put my diffuser right there. And then I always like to do things as much as possible in odd numbers. It just looks more appealing to the eye. And next I've got this wood pumpkin and I'm just gonna place it right there. Can I just say that now that this is diffusing the hot apple pie scent throughout the house, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. That, I thought the Attune was my favorite. This may be my favorite. You know what, I love them all. What can I say? I love the glow of the cage lamp in this lantern. Looking over here, the green garland, which was for spring and summer, is kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. So I think I've got one extra garland left. That it's the Amazon garland. I may string that into the into that garland, or just do it separately, and it'll tie it all together. So I just have this, and I thought the green might be nice because it'll tie into the top. Just but by itself, it looks too springy and summery. But I think if I add this, it'll tie everything together. So right here, I've got this lantern. I, I think I got it on either Wayfair. I'm thinking Wayfair or Overstock. I can't even remember. But um, anyway, I snuck a little lamp in there and my light burned out. So this will be an added glow during the fall season. So anyway, that's how it looks with the lantern, the ladder, and a little basket of pillows. And then as you can see, I've got my flameless flickering candles going strong in the fireplace, and those will come out as soon as the temps drop. And we will start firing it up with real wood. Can't wait for that. I know, I know. You guys are like, Liz, when are you going to stop? I know. I've got issues. I've got these two huge pumpkins. And I thought I could stack them and put them next to the fireplace to represent fall. I've got three of them. I might do this color, orange, and then this color. So I had my pillow in the basket. 
but then I thought the pumpkin looked kind of cute in it. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna leave the pumpkin just like that. It was too much with the other one, so putting the brakes on. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's different, it's bold, it's fun for fall. And most importantly, my kids are gonna love it. So cute. Now be sure to run over to Jody at Southern Seasons channel. I'll link her below. I'm gonna head over there too right now. And I can't wait to see what she's cooked up on her mantle for fall. So I will see you over there. And thanks for stopping by. Have a great weekend and I will see you next Wednesday. Mwah!